what is Facebook Pixel and how you can add it to your own WordPress website. Hi everyone, Siavash here and in this episode I'm going to talk about Facebook Pixel. So for those of you that doesn't know what actually Pixel is or Facebook Pixel is, Facebook Pixel is simply a piece of code that you can grab from your Facebook if you have a Facebook business settings or Facebook business account. So that uh, piece of code is actually gets associated with your Facebook profile and it means that you can actually put that on your Facebook advertisement, landing pages, uh, your WordPress, pretty much every content and digital assets that you have on the website, you can put that on the internet, you can put that piece of code there. And what that does is basically, so let's say that you have your website in here and the Facebook code is in here, for example. And this is, so for example, your uh, blog that people come to it from either uh, Google search, Bing or whatever. Then for example, you have another uh, content that maybe it's your uh, landing page for one of your ads that you're running on a different platform. Like for example, not on the Facebook, let's say you are running this on a platform like Bing. So when you have that piece of code on both of these guys, and let's say people are coming to your blog, to your landing page, or pretty much everything else that you have, and it has this code, what's gonna happen is once they land on these pages, uh, this piece of code actually gets triggered, and gets uh, basically it gets recorded in your Facebook business account, and what happened is Facebook knows that, okay, this person is actually, visited your website so it means that they are interested in the content that you provide so what it means like they are gonna start if you have, if you're running any Facebook ads or anything those people that have already interacted with your content even outside the Facebook are going to start seeing your advertisement coming up on their feed so it's kind of like have you ever noticed that for example like wherever you go it's like uh, Facebook Instagram or Google are kind of following you for example if you start searching for I don't know uh, what is the best way to make money online in 2021 or something like that you can see that okay you search it on Google but you start seeing it on your Instagram you start seeing feeds on your Facebook as soon as clicking on something or sometimes when you watch a couple of videos of a person on YouTube you'll start seeing the advertisement of that person website on the other blogs that you start reading so those are all connected via this piece of code so that was a little bit of description about what is Facebook uh, pixel and what it actually does all right the way that you use it so first of all i'll assume that you have a facebook business settings if you don't have you can visit a website called uh business.facebook.com slash overview if you don't have facebook business settings it will ask you to create one now that you have your business uh, account set up uh the next thing when you land on your business settings on the left sidebar you have a section called data sources and then you have something called pixel so let's say you click on the pixel and for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna create a new pixel. So you just simply click on add. It brings up uh, this thing. You can actually name it whatever you want. So I name it like uh, test pixel for WordPress. You don't need to put your website URL here at the moment. You just click on continue. Once this comes up, you, say, you click on set up the pixel now. And by the way, I just want to point out that the UI for Facebook gets changed like very often. So if you're like following this video within a month or two, it might be a little bit different, but the semantic and basically the steps are pretty much going to be the same. Maybe the way that you find the pixel might be different or a little bit like maybe they move the manually add pixel code to the like the first item or something like that. But the process is going to be uh, kind of similar. So. You want to click on the manually add pixel code. So when you click on that, basically, so that's the code. It lands in here. Now what you want to do is basically, as soon as you click on it, it copies the code to your clipboard. And the way that you use this, you go to your WordPress dashboard. And the easiest way that I found out is uh, I've installed a plugin called uh, 
in Z header and footers. So that plugin actually helps you so you can actually go into your plugins if you don't have that. It's a really good and handy plugin if you want to add anything inside your header or footers. So the name of that plugin is in the header and footers. Make sure that you grab that and install it. Uh, then what you can do is basically it lands inside your settings. You click on that and you want to basically paste the Facebook code inside your scripts in the header. This is basically a global thing. So basically this attached to every single page that you have on Facebook, on uh, your blog, which means that it attached to every single uh, page or blog post that you have on your uh, website. So you might want to do this or might not want to do this. So uh, pretty much uh, make sure that if you only wanted to add to a specific page, uh, just add it to the header for that specific page. Otherwise, this would be pretty much if you put it in here It's going to be everywhere on your page. So what's gonna happen? So once you have this set up and then you can go back to your uh, Facebook uh, We want to have the turn on automatic advanced matching to be on and we can click on continue uh, You don't want to do actually uh, use Facebook even set up to tool uh, set up tool recommended just click on cancel all right, that was my test account. Now let's actually go and I'll show you uh, an account that is have a working uh, pixel on it. So this is another pixel that I've been working on. So the way that you actually test it, if you have any test events, you shouldn't have any test events, so you can click on clear events. Now what you can do, you can type in the website. In this case, it's richmanlife.com. Click on open website. It opens up. For this, in this case, I have my pixel helper here. And as you can see, there's a page view has been recorded. And if you go back to the events manager, you can see that the page view has been proceeding here. So that's pretty much how you can actually keep tracking. Now, this is, all, this is not only for the WordPress, as I mentioned, you can actually do this for the other websites or any other landing page that you have as well. Please do make sure to share this video, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also tap on that bell icon so every time I post a new training, you'll get notified so you don't miss any of this free training. And also, if you want to know how you can learn this, I have a coaching program as well. Make sure that you sign up via the first link down in the description or the first link that I pinned in the comment section down below. Make sure that you sign up. We can set up a 15 minute free consultation call and we can go from there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.